ゆきさんは結婚したんだって聞いたけど本当みなさんこんにちは Welcome back to 日本語元気ですか I hope you're doing well So I've decided to make two videos for this lesson so it won't be too long So in this first part we will discuss なになにって And なになにつもりはありません or つもりはない grammar points Before we begin, make sure to check out the vocabulary list for this lesson. はい、準備できたら始めましょう。Our first grammar point is なになにって or なになにって with small つ。The particle と which is used for coding can become te or te with small tsu in casual or colloquial speech, meaning when you're talking to your family or close friends. So this means I heard or someone said that nani nani. So let's review. In the beginner lesson 21, we've learned about the direct speech, which is where we quote exactly what a person said. So the pattern is person wa. And then we use the symbol to quote the exact words followed by the particle to and then imashita or itta. So meaning person said nani nani. For example, Rose wa anata no koto ga suki desu to imashita. Rose said she likes you. Another example, Rose wa ashita yasumimasu to itta. Rose said She will take a day off tomorrow. In lesson 33, we've learned about the indirect speech or the reported speech. So, meaning、uh, when we、um, relay the message, we change it to plain form. So, the pattern is person wa, and then the message or the quote in plain form, followed by to i m a s h i t a or itte i m a s h i t a meaning person said that nani nani. For example, Rose wa anata no koto ga suki da to itte i m a s h i t a Meaning, Rose said that she likes you. Another example is, Rose wa ashita yasumu to itte i m a s h i t a or i m a s h i t a Meaning, Rose said that she will take a day off tomorrow. So now in this pattern, we will change the to particle into So, using the same pattern as the indirect speech, so we have the sentence in plain form followed by the te particle or te with small tsu. So, we use just the te if it's following the n syllable. For example, nan, nan te. And then for, for the rest, we use the te with small tsu. So, we have the sentence in plain form followed by te or te and then plus. あ言いました、or 思いました、or 聞きました。So let's take a look at some examples. So for example, you heard that your grandmother called, but you weren't there. So you ask your mom what your grandmother said. So you say, Mom, what did grandma say? Mama, おばあちゃんは、what is 何 or in this case, なん and then We follow it by particle to, nan to, to, to quote what someone has said. But in this case, we are going to change it to te. So if you notice, we only use、uh, te here, not the one with small tsu. That's because the word ends in n syllable. So nan, that's why we use te, nan te, and then itte imashita ka. Mama, o ba a chan wa nan te itte i m a s h i t a ka? She said that she'll come tomorrow. So the message is she will come tomorrow. So that is ashita kuru. And then we add the quotation, which is to. And we change that to te. The te with small tsu. Ashita kuru te itte ta yo. She said that. So she said that she'll come tomorrow. We can also simplify it by just saying, 明日来るって So we don't need to mention, 行ってたよ 
because it's already implied. Also, we can say, Ashita kurun datte. Ashita kurun datte. Another example is when you see a kanji that you can't read. So you can ask your friend, how do you read this kanji? So you say, kono kanji wa nan again to becomes te. Nan te yomun desu ka? Kono kanji wa nan te yomun desu ka? It is read as ichigo ichie. Ichigo ichie te yomimasu. So again, since we are quoting um, the meaning of the word, so we change to to te. Ichigo ichie te yomimasu. It is read as ichigo ichie. Next example. I heard that Yuki got married. Is it true? So here, instead of a say or said, we can also quote what we heard. So in this case, Yuki got married. So we say, Yuki san wa kekon shita. So to becomes te. Yuki san wa kekon shita te. Kita kedo honto? Is it true? Or we can also say, Yuki san wa kekon shita nda. Te kita kedo honto? So, the nani nani to you in the pattern, the name um, or the proper uh, name of a person, a thing, or a place. Uh, in this case, we can change to you into te you or just simply te. For example, someone named Kaylee called you or phoned you. So, usually we would say, Kiri to you. Kiri to you. A hito. So we change this to Kiri te you to ga anata ni denwa shita yo. Or we can just simply say Kiri te hito ga. So we remove you. So a person called Kaylee or named Kaylee called you. So we change to you to just Kerite hito ga anata ni denwa shita yo. We can also use te with small tsu. When we want to talk about a topic, we want to give information or we want to ask um, information about the certain topic. This functions the same way as the topic marker or topic particle wa. Next example is using te as a topic marker. So here, hey. What kind of dish is shabu shabu? So the speaker is talking about the topic shabu shabu. Ne, shabu shabu. So instead of the topic marker wa, we change this to te. Shabu shabu te. Donar yori. What kind of dish is shabu shabu? So basically it means speaking of shabu shabu, what kind of dish is it? It is a dish in which thinly sliced meat is blanched in a pot for about one to two seconds and then eaten. So we are describing what kind of dish it is. So it's a bit long, so let's break it down. Usuku kita niku. So thinly sliced meat. O nabe no nakani in a pot. Ichi ni gurai. One to two seconds. Kugurasete. Kuguraseru means to boil or blanch something. So to boil something very quickly. Or to dip something very quickly in a boiling water. And then, taberu, to eat it. Usukutta niko wo nabe no naka ni ichi ni byo gurai kugurasete taberu. So instead of to you, so describing a dish, so we change this to you ryori desu. Again, it's a dish that is um, a thinly sliced meat uh, blanched in a pot for about one to two seconds and then eaten. Another example. What does aho mean? Or speaking of aho, what does it mean? Aho wa. So instead of wa, we change it to 
アホってどういう意味ですか ?It means the same as バカ or stupid. バカと同じ意味。So instead of とことです、we say てことです。バカと同じ意味ってことです。More examples. You know, or as you know, I heard this year's winter will be warm. 今年の冬は暖かいと聞いたよ。So I heard that、um, uh, the winter will be、um, warm this year. で、さ。So we use the interjectory particle さ。Meaning, you know, or as you know. 今年の冬は暖かいってさ。Another example, I said stop it to, to show frustration or strong feelings. We say やめてと言ったでしょうとやめてってやめてって So I said stop it. Another example, I told you I'm busy. So again, to show frustration when you're talking to your family or close friends.、Uh, busy is 忙しい忙しいと言ったでしょう忙しいってば。So again, ば is another interjectory、um, particle that shows frustration. 忙しいってば。Our next grammar point is なになにつもりはない。This is the negative form of なになにつもりです。The polite form or なになにつもりだ。The casual form. So this pattern means has no intention of なになに has no intention of doing something. So we first learned about tsumori in lesson 31. Tsumori means intention. So we learned the pattern なになに tsumori desu, meaning the speaker is expressing intention of doing something. For example, アメリカで働くつもりです I plan to or I intend to work in America. We can also use、uh, the negative form or verb. Nai form plus sumori desu. So, meaning the speaker is expressing that he or she has no intention of doing something. For example, jet coaster mo noranai tsumori desu. Meaning, I don't intend to ride roller coasters anymore. So, tsumori desu is more determined compared to nani nani to omoimasu. So, how do we use a、uh, nani nani tsumori wa nai pattern? So, first we use the verb in its dictionary form. Plus, we add tsumori wa nai for casual form or tsumori wa arimasen for polite form. For example, the verb iku to go. So, we can say iku tsumori wa nai or iku tsumori wa arimasen, meaning has no intention of going. Another example is hataraku to work. Hataraku tsumori wa nai or hataraku tsumori wa arimasen, meaning has no intention of working. I have no intention of working in the same company my whole life. So we say, Watashi wa onaji kaisha de isho wa my whole life.、Um, the verb is to work or working, which is hatarakimas or In this case, we change it to plain form. Hataraku, followed by tsumori wa arimasen or tsumori wa nai. Watashi wa onaji kaisha de isho wa hataraku tsumori wa arimasen. Have no intention of working. Next example. I plan to get a job after graduating from high school. I have no intention of going to college. So we say, Goko kara. So, 卒業後は就職するつもりです。So, here we use つもり which is the positive of I intend to or I plan to. And then the next sentence is I have no intention of going to college. So, going to college is 大学に行く。So, to go to college in plain form followed by つもりはありません。or つもりはない。高校から卒業後は就職するつもりです。大学に行くつもりはありません。Next example.I didn't mean to buy or I didn't 
intend to buy this branded bag. But it was at half price, so I bought it. Kono high brand bag wo. So the verb is to buy, which is kau. So we want to say, didn't mean to buy. So in past form. So tsumori wa nai in past form is tsumori wa nakata. So from nai, which is present, we want to change it to past form. Nakata. And then we can add n dakedo. But hangaku datta kara katte shimatta. Kono hai brand bag wo kao tsumori wa nakatta n dakedo. Hangaku datta kara katte shimatta. Now, um, we can change the verb tsumori wa nai to sono tsumori wa nai. So sono um, pertains to the verb if the details of that is already known to uh, the speakers or to the listener. For example, when you get old, are you going to live with your children? Toshi o tottara kodomo to issho ni sumimasu ka? Nope. I have no intention of doing that. So doing that means to live with your children. So instead of repeating the same thing, since it's already known to both the listener and the speaker, you just use sono tsumori or sono meaning that. Nope, I have no intention of doing that. My children have their own life. Iie, sono, that, tsumori wa arimasen or tsumori wa nai. Kodomo wa jibun no seikatsu ga aru kara. Iie, sono tsumori wa arimasen. Kodomo wa jibun no seikatsu ga aru kara. Next is the difference between nani nani tsumori wa nai and nai tsumori. So they are both negative form of tsumori des, the polite form, and tsumori da, the casual form. But uh, since they both mean the same thing, um, just a little difference is that tsumori wa nai is stronger because tsumori wa nai means have no intention of, while nai tsumori means do not intend to. So, so if you look at the English translation, um, you could feel that um, tsumori wa nai is stronger than nai tsumori. Do not intend to, but there's a chance that someone might change their mind. For example, new Jordans are on sale. Are you going to buy it? Atarashi jodan ga hatsubai saremashita yo. Kaimasu ka? I already have a pair, so I have no intention of buying another pair. Issoku motte iru kara Mo issoku kao tsumori wa nai. I have no intention of buying another pair. We can also say, I intend not to buy another one, but I might change my mind. So we say, Mo issoku kao wa nai. Again, nai form of the verb kao. Kao wa nai tsumori desu. I intend not to buy another one. Our next grammar point is nani nani tsumori datta. So this is the past uh, form of the pattern nani nani tsumori desu. So we just change this to datta. So from present to past. So meaning intended to do something or intended not to do something. So the person is talking about the past. So how do we use this pattern? We use the verb in its dictionary form. If it's positive and if it's negative, not to do, we use the verb in nai form. And then we add tsumori datta or tsumori deshita. For example, I meant to call you but I forgot. I'm sorry. So the verb is to call or to phone someone, which is denwa suru. So we followed it by tsumori deshita or tsumori datta. Denwa suru tsumori deshita ga... But, wasurete shimaimashita. Sumimasen. I forgot. I'm sorry. Another example. Sorry, I didn't mean to forget. Or literally, I meant not to forget. Our wedding anniversary. Don't be mad. So we say, Gomen, 
結婚記念日を our verb is to forget 忘れない so not to forget つもりだったよごめん結婚記念日を忘れないつもりだったよ I meant not to forget our wedding anniversary 怒らないで don't be mad Another example Why didn't you come to Peter's party? どうしてピーターさんのパーティーに行かなかったんですか ?I meant to go, but I had things to do.So the verb is to go. 行くつもりでしたが、ちょっと用事があって、だだだ。行くつもりでしたが、ちょっと用事があって、Okay, and lastly is the nani nani ta tsumori or nani nani te iru tsumori. So this is totally different from the first tsumori pattern that we've learned. So when we hear ta tsumori, it means that the speaker believes or think that something is true. Even though for other people or in reality it's not true or it's unknown. So, again, it means that the speaker believes something to be true even though it's not. Or it could also mean that the speaker meant to do something but it turned out to be different. So, this pattern we can use this with verbs, adjectives, and nouns. So, for verbs, we can use the ta or te iru form followed by tsumori, and then usually it is followed by ga na no ni. Or だけど For e adjectives, we just use the adjective itself. For na adjectives, we add na. And for nouns, we add no. And then we add sumori. So let's take a look on how to use this pattern. For example, A says, It wasn't locked or you left it unlocked. Kagi ga kakatte i masen de shita yo. B says, I'm sorry, I thought, or I believe, I locked it, though. So, sumimansen. To lock is kakeru. So, the past form is kaketa, followed by tsumori deshita ga. So, kaketa tsumori deshita means I thought, I'm convinced, I believe, I locked, I locked it, though. Okay? Deshita ga. Sumimansen. Kaketa tsumori deshita ga. Another example, the wife might say, Oh, you ate already? I even waited for you. Eh, mo o tabeta no? Matte ta no ni. The husband might say, I'm sorry, I believe I told you this morning that I'm going to a party after work. Gomen, kesa shigoto no ato ni party e ikutte. That I'm going to a party after work. And the verb is to、uh, tell someone, or in past tense, Told, which is itta, followed by tsumori. Gomen, kesa shigoto no ato ni pate ikutte itta tsumori nan da kedo. So I believed I told you that, blah blah blah. Another example、uh, when mother is talking to Nobita about his grades. Nobita kun, your grades haven't been good lately. Nobita kun, saikin, se seki ga yoko nai ne. Nobita kun might say, I'm sorry, but I'm convinced or I believe in myself that I'm trying really hard. Gomen na sai. Jibun de wa to try or do one's best is doryoku suru, or in this case, trying really hard. Doryoku shite iru. At the moment, I believe I'm trying my best. Doryoku shite iru. Tsumori. Nan da ke do. ごめんなさい。自分では努力してるつもりなんだけど。Another example. Please sing as if no one is watching. So, to do something believing that something is something. For example, to believe that no one is watching. So, to do something as if no one is watching. So, in this case, to sing. So, we can say, 誰も見てない。So, no one is watching or is looking. 誰も見てない。Followed by tsumori de. Dari mo mite nai tsumori de. So instead of using the positive mite iru, we just use the nai form. Not,、uh, no one is watching. So, Dari mo mite nai tsumori de. 
歌ってください。Please sing. 誰も見てないつもりで歌ってください。Next is using an e adjective, which is、um, young. I was injured because I was exercising as if I were young again. Wakai. So if we have an e adjective, we just add tsumori. Wakai tsumori de as if I was young or I were young. Undo shte itara kega o shte shimaimashita. Wakai tsumori de undo shte itara kega o shte shimaimashita. Next example is using a na adjective, which is fine or genki. I believed I was fine, but apparently I got a fever. So, fine is genki, or in this case, we add na. Genki na followed by tsumori da, because it's in past form. Genki na tsumori da ke do, apparently, netsu ga deta. Genki na tsumori da ke do, netsu ga deta. And lastly, is you saying a noun. For example, who are you trying to be, or who are you supposed to be when your friend is doing a cosplay or something? Dare no tsumori. So again, if it's a noun, we add no. Dare no tsumori. Who are you trying to be? I'm pretending to be or I'm dressed as a sexy nurse. Okay? So the noun is a sexy nurse. So we say, Sekushi nasu no. So we add no particle. Sekushi nasu no. Followed by tsumori da. Sekushi nasu no tsumori da yo. Sekushi nasu no tsumori da yo. I'm pretending I'm trying to be a sexy nurse. So now let's try. For question number one, try to fill in the blank. Nani nani te tanoshi desu ne? Nani nani te tanoshi desu ne? Question number two, Kotoshi nihongo norioko shiken wo ukeru tsumori desu ka? Kotoshi nihongo norioko shiken wo ukeru tsumori desu ka? So please write your answer in the comment section below. はい、お疲れ様でした。今日のレッスンはどうでしたか役に立ったら、Like ボタンを押してください。もしコメントとか質問があれば、ぜひ下に書いてくださいね。I hope you learned something today. Again, this is just part one of lesson six. We still have part two, so make sure you are subscribed and make sure you have your notification bell Turned on so you don't miss out on any of the future lessons. And if you want to support this channel even more, please consider becoming my patron through my Patreon page where you can get the lesson PDF and a vocabulary list for this lesson. And to all my Patreons, I want to say thank you so much for your continued support. Hontoni arigato gozaimashita. I will see you in the next lesson. Mata ne! Special shout out to our Patreon members, our elite scholars, Kaylee, Peter Ogoshi, and to our study buddies, Paul, Taras, Jimmy, and Bernie. And to all our Nihongo students, Hondoni, Arigato Gozaimas.